What's going on guys, it's Shane, we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to School Bus Simulator of Sumter, Alabama, owned by RSBTS. Uh, we're going to do our little part 2 video, not really a part 2 because we've done quite a few videos on this company, but this is our second video on this version of the game. So, if I can figure out how to get out here, uh, we're actually going to drive the T3 or RE today I believe. Um, get real quick. Here's the FE. That's what I wanted to drive because I did see that bus on Icon, I believe, and it kind of gave me the. Oh, it's got skirt. It's got a little skirt on it. Uh, but I am stuck. Hold on. Man, the spawner is weird. I don't know if they're gonna work on a new one or. It kind of just spawns your bus wherever you're standing, which I'm not a fan of. But, uh, look at the low skirt on this thing. I believe that's what you would call this. It is a skirt, and it's quite low to the ground. So, you have the mud flaps kind of peeking through right there. But, uh, if we open up the back, you can see engine compartment, working side exit. Uh, and then this is the battery? No? Maybe? I don't know. No, wait. No, this is the electric stuff, and the battery... Probably was on that side, or it might be right here, actually. Uh, let's see. That might be... I don't know. I really don't know, because... I don't really know the T3REs that well. But my district has quite a few. Um, my district does have quite a few. Uh, don't mind the uh, wings. Uh, I know they're sticking out. These are from the hunt event that's going on right now. Um, I paid 800 Robux to unlock the gold tier, and I kind of unlocked these. Uh, they're supposed to have particles, but uh, I guess some games you can disable particles, and this game, this specific game doesn't allow particles. I say that, and there's a particle coming out of the exhaust. Uh, that's uh, I wouldn't call that a particle, though. I don't know. Probably not a particle emitter. It, I don't know. No, I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, it's not letting the... It's supposed to have sparkles. Um... If you guys saw the stream, you guys know. Well, no, you don't, because I didn't actually have it unlocked streaming. But uh, the hunt that's going on right now is actually really cool, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, let's head to the MS over here. Or, you know what? No, we're going to head to the elementary school. Uh, PM, since it is 5 PM, technically... Uh, well, actually, everyone should technically be home by now, but uh, I can't adjust the time, so... It is what it is. Um, so if you don't know, if you live under rock, uh, Roblox has an event going on called The Hunt. Um, it's here for about 12 more days. Um, and it is the first event they have done since 2020, I believe. Uh, like real egg hunt type event, you know what I mean? Um, but this time it's not actually for eggs, it's for items like this. Um, and there's kind of some people, some people like it, some people don't. Um, there's a lot of, apparently, cash grabbing that's going on. Uh, not only from Roblox, but from the developers that are participating in the hunt. Um, if you don't know, there's about 90 badges you have to collect uh, in 90 different games. What kind of lot is this? Okay. It's a bit confusing, but um, yeah, you have to go through 90 different games and collect the badges, uh, and then there's like a kind of like a battle pass tier thing that you have to do, uh, and we just kind of well, this this lot is a little tricky. Um, I've only got like three items unlocked so far. I'm I'm gonna complete it because I did spend 800 robux for the uh, the gold tier, and there's no way I'm gonna waste that by not getting all the badges definitely working on it um so if i miss a video upload that's why we're gonna actually just stop here um because i don't really know i guess you were supposed to go in over there but this lot seems very skinny and narrow there's no way a bus would you know two buses would be able to in like that maybe you don't i don't know maybe that's kind of just where you pick up probably which is technically what we're doing now, but it's alright. It's alright. 
So, yeah, that's the wings. It kind of sucks that uh, they don't sparkle in all the games. I guess just only the games that allow... Uh, would it be particles or... No. I guess there's an option you can disable. Avatar something. Particles? I don't know. But, uh... That's what it is. Here's the interior. Not very updated, as you can see. I don't know who manages the buses in this game. I know the president. I know the vice president. I know the owner. I uh, know them all. I, don't, I know that the president isn't much of a developer himself. Neither is the vice president. So, I don't know if... I don't know their team of developers or anything. But, uh, I was told that this game is still, me, still being worked on. Let me actually pull up the DM real quick, because... He did send me something I meant to... I did look at it, but I totally forgot what it was. Let me pull this up real quick. Um, if I can find it. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. There it is. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Let's go to the next stop. And then we'll find it. I think it had something to do with the spawner. Because I did complain about that last time. I think they said they might have been working on it or something. Nothing. Actually, we're going to go straight here. There's not too many uh, Alabama spec school bus sims on... Roblox. I can't actually think of any other ones, but I'm trying to find this DM, but I can't find. Yeah. Scrolling through all of these. Oh, I found it. Hold on. No, so they're working on things like uh, auto routes, uh, performance issues, AI traffic, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to mention any of that stuff, but, you know, there it is. Um, so I guess it had nothing to do with the spawner. But I, uh, Jay, uh, if you are watching this video, uh, I would... I don't know what's up with the spawner. I don't know. I kind of think of it as a downgrade from, you know... Having the bus spawn in a certain parking spot, uh, you know, when it spawns where you're ever, wherever you're standing, I think that's like, kind of like a, I know a lot of older Roblox games use that. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would just have it spawn in a parking spot and maybe it does. Maybe it's just this bus or I don't really. Anyway, uh, let's just. Who's that? Okay, sun is going down, it does look like. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't get too dark. But yeah, that's, that's my only issue with the game, is the spawner. That's my only issue. Everything else looks very nice. Uh, and then what I when I brought up the buses, you know, I like I said, I don't know who if anybody's working on them or not, because I'm sure they're gonna actually get their own fleet of Envision buses when they're done. Uh, so they're probably not even worried about updating these current ones, because soon there won't be a point. That's kind of why NBC hasn't really done anything with their buses. Because we have something else going on. Oh, the sun is definitely down. Is that a train track? Okay. No, the dirt path looked like a train track. I wasn't sure. Oh, this would be a great screenshot. Right oh, 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 I forgot. Settings, you can actually turn off... Uh, 
um, the waypoints. Kind of like how I added the ones to NBC. You can actually turn those off. Awesome. Okay. Does this game have a... They do have a free cam. I forgot about that. That. but i i hope roblox does more events because it kind of gives you a reason to play roblox uh there was a game um what is it game called i have to look it up here that it was part of the um event uh, I, I, I played it just for the badge, and it turns out I actually love the game. Uh, there's two games, actually. I'm going to show you. Oh, look at these stop signs. Those are cool. I almost want to get a screenshot here. Those are awesome. I wonder if they flash. Oh, my God. Look at all of them. You would have never known those were on there if it, you know, if it didn't turn dark. Because I'm sure they only turn on when it's dark out, which... Yeah, that would explain why I've never seen him before. Okay, hold on. I'll try to get a screenshot here. I don't really like taking screenshots without, like... Oh, this would be a nice one. Awesome. That's perfect. That'll work. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the game. Right, hold on. Uh, I think it was Death Ball. Is that what it's called? Or Death Blade or something like that? The one where you... Uh, it's not the uh, famous one. It's the original one. The famous one is... Um, Blade... Blade Ball or something? I don't even know. Uh, I think the one that I played was called... I don't, I don't even know, but it's fun because... You had to uh, kind of, you know, deflect the ball and defeat core blocks... Um, which is pretty fun. And I enjoy that game now. Uh, the other one I didn't enjoy because... I don't know. Apparently that one is a lot more famous, but they're money hungry. And they're not the original creators of that specific game. Uh, but somehow it has more players. It's weird. Uh, and then the other game is Car Crushers 2, I believe. Uh, they have a derby mode and that was very fun. That was very fun indeed. So I'll be playing those two games a lot more. But um, yeah, if, if Roblox starts having events where you can unlock items and stuff, like hopefully some of these items will go limited, like the ones you had to buy. Because I paid a uh, thousand Robux for these shades right here. Uh, it wasn't too expensive, so I just said, let me just buy it because it might go limited sometime. I don't know. They're not, I mean, they don't really. And they're just star sunglasses. And then these headphones here, you actually have to get those from a content creator. Like uh, somebody that has the uh, that's in the uh, star creator group. Uh, they have like a launcher and they can launch these headphones. And if you're around them, you can pick it up. And I got one. I forgot how I got it from, but uh, he was in the server and he was just... Uh, Throwing them everywhere. Everybody got some. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, I'm going to do a few more stops here. It is getting dark. Very, very dark. probably talking a whole lot throughout this video no reason for that I probably shouldn't be though because I did just get off work and I am exhausted man. I just have a lot to talk about today because that you know that event was big news I'm so glad we got an event that's where all my time's going I'm at home is that event I mean, you've only got, like, just under two weeks left, I believe. So. 
plenty of time, but uh, there are some badges that are hard to get. If you guys are participating in the hunt event, let me know down below. It seems like everybody, all the people that I talked to didn't even know what was going on, which is stupid. And apparently Roblox had bought out all the ads. Uh, so there are no ads on Roblox. If you find an ad, it's probably a Roblox ad. Like literally about the hunt. So. That was a bit selfish of them, but. Uh, I understand. Where are we going? Where's the base at? I think I, I turned off the. Uh, I think it's up here. God, I turned off the. Points. It's been a while since we've done a route in the dark, hasn't it? At least it feels like it. Usually when I try to make these videos, I do them during the day, so... It's easier to see, but... It's alright. Should have pulled here. I'll pull up right here. Look at that. This is a very nice bus with the low skirt. If it didn't have the low skirt, I probably wouldn't like it as much, but uh, I'm just going to let that go. Um, let's see if we can despawn it. Despawn. So, that was pretty much it. Uh, this was Sumter, Alabama. If you guys do wish to play the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. That being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.